what's good everybody welcome back to the channel and today we are back with some more hogwarts legacy man we're gonna get right on into it but before we get into it make sure y'all leave a like comment subscribe share the video you know what i'm saying like the video most importantly oh shit you cannot be serious goblins working with rookwood makes no sense it is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? This man looks like it's a woman when I'm standing from back it's... here. Hey, oh, what? Fig, you have a visitor. Don't be looking, don't be, be looking over your shoulder like that. So, what? I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. Talk to me. What? That's... Wait, you accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book I thought I took these glasses the restricted off. section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Read the book, bro. What are you looking oh. at me for? Oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps what you this think, book bro? They're trying to show us we can make it, man. I have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. Well, yeah, what you gonna tell them? What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. All right. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. I'm kind of fucking with the glasses now, studies. I ain't gonna lie. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Right, I heard you, I heard you. Oh, I'm level seven. I can put on my auto. I'm finna get swaggy on you. I'm finna get swaggy on you niggas real quick. All right, let's get it. Where we gotta go? She's growing pungent onion again. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. What the hell? Oh, I walk in hello. clean as hell. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing. Damn, y'all ain't gonna greet me? How thrilling it is to have everyone I expected back together some, again. Some bows. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bulb. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. 
Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip the mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Pause. Oh my goodness. My boy, yo. So ass in the pot, my boy. That shit loud in a bit. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair. Damn. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. So, mine's the only one that did that? What you mean? Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knot grass. She, she sighed at me for I seen that. You got something to say? Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me. Bro, damn, she looking at me hard to the bed. Yo, you want to fight or something? You want a duel? Stop playing with me. Maybe auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent. Y'all looking at potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. The Mr. Green Takar, potion? Can you tell us why this particular potion? Might come in handy. Yes, Professor. I used to hate the teachers that are just randomly calling you to just answer some shit. This is it a clear nerd, by the way. He not all. obviously do his Point homework. For Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion. Yeah, I used to hate teachers that are just randomly calling you. Like they'll just you intentionally pick you, you out, knowing you don't know the answer. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze. I'm in there whipping that shit up. I'm in there whipping that shit up. He not, not whipping it. To stir. Come check me out. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. Talk about Scotty Pippins, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Hey, G. Bersky, how you get that scar on your face? I simply need a single fupa feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I mean, what fun is there to life if you don't get in a little trouble? 
I can get you that feather, my boy. The Fuipa feather. As long as your certain shot won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fuipa feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Keep your potion state. Let me get that. Let me get that. Let me, let me. Let me. Oh shit. That's not what I'm getting. Let me get that. Remember, precision is key when brewing potions. Here, Here's your four feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you. This Damn, is quiet, take a to quiet brew. down. You should get back to brewing your endurance potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah. Look at this cool car. This is a certified goofing tank. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. <laughs> Mr. Weasley. He be fucking ass. Yes. Oh, right. on his own. Oh shit. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Oh my God, bro! You gotta, bro. You gotta get your shit together, my nigga. Like you can't be out here. You can't be out here fucking shit up, telling me to do the dirty work. Listen, hey, look at me when I'm talking to you. You gotta get your shit together, my nigga. Cause if I get if I get points taken away from my squad, we all gonna jump your ass when we get out of the class. You got that? Now get your shit right. It is, and I will have more questions. For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all <laughs> Look of at us. you trying to get in on my but journey. I wanted to speak to you. I realized Groupie something ass. Must have come this way. Think. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi. Oh yeah, Rockwood home. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. Students, you can't be sick. <laughs> hey, yo, hold on. Leave her alone. I'm on y'all last. Oh, yeah, we on y'all last. Real duel shit. What's good? Stop that. What's up? What's good? Stop all that. Oh, yeah, she on your ass. She got my back. I really do this. Like, come on now. Come on now, I'm powerful. Don't talk to me before I can loot. Oh, is that rock art? Oh, this is a random. I don't care about. Stop that. Oh, shit. She's spamming. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Oh shit, she's too powerful. She's too powerful. You can't hold out forever. Oh yeah, I'm done for it. Oh yeah, I'm done for it. How do I Oh yeah. Yeah, she she different. She different. What do you want me to do? Oh, that's how you want me to do it. I gotta beat you with the dark arts. I gotta beat you with the ancient magic. She was too powerful, bro. I almost died. Thank you for coming all this way. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. I've been in the Black family for years. Apologies okay. for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mentioned the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Okay, yeah. Undermining the headmaster and getting something in return. Continue. 
Oh, Scrope does not intend to undermine the headmaster. In fact, Scrope wants to surprise him. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. That was tough, to. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Well, look at Scrope some here. Believes well, that what, a what treasured black you? family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. You got Apple one ear. Scrope from entering the grotto. Barely ago, any hair Scrope on your head. Scrope continues to honour her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help. But when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. How did you know that I'd found a book and that it's missing pages? Scrope and the other house elves are good at staying out of sight. Scrope hears and sees many things in the castle. Scrope knows how to... Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what happened to your how ear? Did you your ear? The blacks have a tradition of decapitating their house elves when their service is no longer required. Oh my goodness. One day, dear Apollonia was understandably frustrated with Scrope and got a bit too eager with a cleaver. Scrope was able to convince the sweet girl of his value and now views this small injury as a reminder of her good heart. Damn, boy, she fucked your ass up, boy. She fed he wiped your ear. It seems this may help us both. Um, I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast and place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Scrope will wait right here for you. Best of luck finding your pages. And... Damn, bro, I need a motherfucking vehicle. I need a broom or something. Hey, 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 I don't fuck with the water. I don't fuck with being in the water. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Get out of here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. This is not ideal. Bitch, nigga. I shouldn't be fighting y'all. I shouldn't be fighting y'all. But I'm up for the challenge. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm s I'm goaded ultra instinct. Shit! Shit! Keep trying me. Keep trying me. Keep trying me. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I'm really doing this out here! Yeah, y'all can't touch me. Y'all can't touch me. I really do this. Oh shit! Where did this one come from? Where did he come from? I got too cocky. I got too cocky. Yeah, I might be too weak for this. I got way too cocky, bro. No. Whoa! Stop that. Get out of here with that weakness. 
No. Get out of here with that weakness. Stop. No. They can't fuck with me, bro. Shit. Nah, that one hurt it. That one hurt it. You got me. Shit. I need you out of here, bro. Got him out of here. Got him out of here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I really do this. I really do this. Why would I need a piece of toast? I suppose that's where it goes. Let me throw there like booty air then. Yeah, I'll take that. Could it be a visitor? Who the hell? Oh, ah. Ooh. <laughs> ah. Chuggle fast. The name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student just like you about a century ago. How in the world yeah. did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me. Said I might find a black family ring here. Ah. Sorry to say I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, it was to no avail. I thought a Man, secret boy. map I pilfered you from Pete would be her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn this from That's why you book? can't be. This why you can't be doing Not everything for these hoes. Moment. May I have them? Hand them over. Hand them over, bro. I must insist that you give them to me at once. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I followed the map. To what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And you see what happens next. Here's an idea. Catch your ass, Paxton. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? And I'll show you where to find the pages. You want me to meet a dead guy? How did you lose your head? I think I could guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After that, I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. <laughs> Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. Sheesh. Hello, Scrope. Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollonia's grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. Chuh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, what of the Black Family Ring? I'm sorry to say that Jack Dawes sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Ah, yeah. Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves. 
Damn, teach me that. Okay, what's next? What's next? Matter of fact, I need to get to the motherfucking, uh, I need to learn a disarming spell before I can follow Richard Jack. Uh, okay. Yeah. So we're going to leave off right here. You know what I'm saying? That was a nice, productive as hour long video right here. You know what I'm saying? We're going to leave off right here. Make sure y'all leave a like, comment, subscribe on the video, share the video. Fuck with your boy. You know what I'm saying? Tune in. And yeah. See y'all in the next one.